In 2002, Darren Dodrell was a reservist Marine training at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. He got a phone call telling him to go home immediately. The reason? His wife, April, had given birth to their daughter a few months before her due date. Little Gracie Dodrell was born with several health issues, creating quite a challenge for two first-time parents. They were ordinary people living through extraordinary circumstances. Gracie was born 14 weeks early, um, and she was really tiny when she was born. She weighed one pound, 10 ounces, and um, she ended up being in the NICU for four months. About halfway into her um, hospital time, she was diagnosed um, with retinopathy of prematurity. And um, after several surgeries, when she got out, she was, she's been completely blind since. Um, and then also due to some of the steroids she was on and she developed cerebral palsy, which is, um, gives her some trouble motor wise. And those two things together, in our opinion, are what have caused kind of a cognitive delay and delay in developmental skills and, um, she... So she's seven now and second year of kindergarten. Just finished her second year. Yep. Yeah. Uh, learned to walk with the help of a walker. Mm -hmm. But she's great. She doesn't talk yet. Um, she's starting to say some words and we can tell that she understands a lot of things that we say and understands her routine and all those kind of things. So um, the developmentally she has made a ton of progress and her motor skills are getting really good and the prognosis is pretty good um, most of the professionals that I've taken her to see think that she will eventually walk with maybe just a cane and then with all the new technology on the horizon there's still a chance that she'll get a little tiny bit of vision maybe some shadows or some lights and also um, we could possibly improve her um, muscle condition with some different treatments and so a lot of hope, but you know she's perfect uh, as she as she is now. Faced with these medical challenges, along with Darren serving in the military, April found it hard to balance the family business with taking care of their daughter. For the first few years of her life, Gracie had to visit specialists all over the Midwest. Eventually, a doctor in Detroit became her primary eye care specialist, but that was a thousand miles away from home in Branson, Missouri, and made it tough for the family to regularly travel to see him. We had some experience traveling um, with Gracie before we started a lot of medical appointments and um, got hooked up with the Angel Flights program because Darren was called up in the Marine Corps and we took several trips to California to visit him on commercial flights. And traveling with an infant who has tubes and machinery, traveling with an infant alone is bad enough, but it was just after 9-11, so they had beefed up all the security and it looked like I was traveling alone because you don't claim an infant. So we had to go through security and we would have to empty all of our luggage and we, I'd have to take her out of the stroller and carry her the rest of the way through the airport with diaper bags and special foods. And it was typically by the time we got done, I was crying. We had one flight that got stuck in Denver in July for, and we had to sit on the plane for three hours and she had a lot of reflux and it made yeah. the, passengers around us uncomfortable and it was just miserable and then even after that we um, started going to Detroit to her eye doctor and we would drive 14 hours there and 14 hours back and just you know dealing with her having issues in the back seat while I was driving a lot of times Darren wasn't able to go along and it was just very difficult we would have to pull over a lot of times you know change her clothes change everything and it was it was very frustrating and then we actually tried to take a commercial flight and the same thing happened with security. And I typically would get home and I would just be in tears, not knowing whether we would even be able to keep going to the doctor because the traveling was so hectic and so frustrating. And so then um, Dr. Tracy is our eye doctor up in Detroit and his personal assistant said, you know what, I think you should try this program, Angel Flights, and just gave me a piece of paper with the phone number on it. and. Um, I called them and it was so easy. I just gave them our name and what our situation was and where we go and they took down our information and next thing I know they called and pilots had signed up for our flight and we drove 
two miles to the little airport in our town, walked out to the plane with our stroller in our bag and jumped on it. They flew us halfway, we got off, jumped on another plane, the pilots were moving all our luggage and moving everything for us and flew us in two miles from the hospital. And I, I mean, I couldn't even believe how easy it was yeah. compared to the traveling we'd done. And we've used Angel Flights ever since and we have always had, we've been blessed with good It's been pilots. a true blessing for us. And, and it's been fun. Because yeah. Gracie loves the small planes. She loves turbulence and she loves the sound yeah. and it's exciting for her. So it's it's a treat. It's not just a, a method of travel, but it's a treat for her to get to fly on the planes. And it's she would have never got to do that if it weren't for flying Angel Flights. Now, with Angel Flight in the picture, the huge burden of traveling by car or by commercial flight has been lifted from the Dodrill's shoulders. Angel Flight Central uses a streamlined process to get families in need connected to volunteer pilots. Gracie needs to visit her eye specialist several times a year, and thanks to Angel Flight Central, she's now able to get there with ease. Angel Flight takes away one of the major problems that Gracie and Gracie's family and others like her experience. It's the how do I get there and how do I get there economically and safely. In Angel Flight, we're able to fly small planes into an airport located very close to her house. So she's got a very short drive to the airport and we can take her in one quick flight. She can have her appointment and she can usually get home the very same day. So it's more efficient, more economical, and a lot less stress on the family. Typically, as an Angel Flight volunteer pilot, um, the pilot every single day has the opportunity to go online on a computer and see the available flights coming up. The, we call them missions, the new um, opportunities to fly people like Gracie and their family. And a pilot will sign up online for a flight and then that will go to a coordinator at uh, Kansas City, Angel Flight Central's corporate uh, headquarters and they will now tell um, the pilot and the passenger that we've confirmed you for this mission on this date, etc. The pilot then will get in touch with the passenger and let them know that I am your guy, I'm coming to meet you on this date when you want to get there, I'll call you ahead of time. If there's any weather issues, we'll talk about it. You know, our number one concern is safety. But then the pilot will basically become um, their host for the day. Our goal is to get her there safely, efficiently, and make it a pleasurable experience. So, you know, I have flown Gracie a couple times. We have one pilot, Dick Lawrence, out of the Detroit area who has flown her over six times gotten to know her, her mom, her dad very well. And, you know, we look at meeting these people and they kind of come into our Angel Flight family. So it's uh, more than just being a pilot that goes from point A to point B. It's becoming part of their Angel Flight experience and we keep them in our thoughts and our prayers for the, the rest of the time. You know, most pilots just love to fly. You know, to be totally honest with you, a pilot becomes a pilot because he loves the experience of flying an airplane. In being involved with Angel Flight for over eight years now, and listening to all of us pilots who have done this over and over, the, the one common denominator I see is personal satisfaction that they're able to help somebody in need. And, um, you know, every day you wake up, you, you want to take care of yourself and you would love to take care of somebody else. And to be able to combine flying, which every pilot loves to do, and helping someone at the same time, that's all a pilot can ask for. And that's hopefully what everybody can ask for. Angel Flight Central provides assistance for all sorts of people in need, including those requiring regular doctor visits and people who need flights of compassion. Angel Flight Central also supports causes like providing relief for disaster victims, shipping mother's milk, transporting military personnel, and flying children to camps for kids with special needs. Angel Flight Central is always looking for people to donate their time, energy, or resources. You can help people like Gracie have a chance at a better life by getting involved. Contact Angel Flight Central through their website at angelflightcentral.org. 